So now let's move on to growth rate. So there's a couple different ways you can think about your growth and report your growth. And especially if your business is growing very quickly, you need to think about how you can really represent the story in an accurate way. So growth, you should obviously look at this monthly, annually, and in the very early days, weekly, if possible. So first you have month over month, you have year over year, and you have compounded monthly growth rate. So let's start with month over month. So month over month, um, you're just going to want to use your recurring revenue for your growth rate numbers. That's the number that uh, investors really, really care about. And so we're saying that these numbers are going back historically, and we are in April 2024. And then, you know, we can just say that these are a projection after that. So you can see that our month over month growth rate was in the 40s, and then it slowed down as our number got bigger and bigger. And in April 2024, we had a 22% month over month growth rate. So very strong month. Now we can also talk about year over year. So you can't measure year over year until you actually have a year of data. So January would be the first month where we can actually look back a year. And so year over year growth rate is 1400%, which again, I mean, that's good, but the denominator is so small that it doesn't give you a great sense of really what's going on. Um, here in April, the 610% growth rate is based on last year's 7409. So that's a little more, I think, interesting. So it shows we've, we've done a 6x year over year. Um, now, my favorite growth metric is something called compounded monthly growth rate. This provides you an average rate of compounding over a period of time. And so um, let me show you how to do this and we can talk about kind of what it means. Okay, so we're gonna go to July. And so we're looking at the six month period, one, two, three, four, five, six, between July and January. So what we're gonna do is we'll take July, and we'll divide it by January, and then we will raise it to the power of one divided by six, and we will subtract one. So this means that if we started with this number in January, this number compounded at an average monthly growth rate of 31% to get to the 12,000 number in July. And I can prove that to you here by showing you what happens if we take January and we compound it at 31%. Compound it at 31%. So if we just compound this number at 31%, all the way out to July, you'll see that we get to this 12,110. So on average, we're compounding at 31%. And so if we copy this formula forward, you'll get a sort of average monthly growth rate over time. And you'll see that by April, our CMGR for a six month trailing period is 15%. Now you can also do CMGR for a 12 month period. And so it's the same formula, but just with a one divided by 12. So you look at a 12 month period and you raise it to the power of one divided by 12 times one. And you can see that on average over that 12 month period, um, our revenue is compounding at an average monthly growth rate of 25%. And then uh, later on it gets lower and lower. So we're really looking at April. So I think from a CR CMGR standpoint, the 12-month CMGR kind of gives you a, a good view on older businesses, 5, 10 plus years old. But for a really early stage business, probably the 6-month CMGR gives you a, a better read on the growth. 22% growth is good, but this 15% smooths out all of this volatility. Also, the 6x year over year, that is helpful in terms of a backward looking metric, but I don't know that it really tells us what's going to happen going forward. And so I think the 15% gives us kind of the best read on the overall status of our business's growth. So what can we say here about the business growth? I think we can say that, um, you know, recurring revenue is up 22% month over month, 610% year over year, and has compounded monthly at six, what is it, 15% CMGR over the last six months. 
you know, that kind of encapsula encapsulates all, all of the growth metrics um, in, in one bullet point that investors can, can read quickly.